coming up next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that octagon. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, if he is not the greatest UFC featherweight champion in the promotion's history, he is certainly on the short list. That 13-fight winning streak that he put together at 145 pounds, likely something, DC, that will never be duplicated in this division. Yes, it'll be very tough because it's such a tough division. The guys that he had to beat in order to go on a 13-fight win streak was unbelievable. It was unreal to see the names on that list that Max Holloway beat. But the crowning moment, was when he beat Jose Aldo twice to win and keep his UFC featherweight championship. And then he only topped that in the destruction of Brian Ortega. Max Holloway is one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter, 145 pounds has ever seen. And with respect to Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor, and anybody else, the UFC featherweight record books read like Max Holloway's Wikipedia page. We'll see if he can add to that total here tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Methuen, Massachusetts, Calvin Keita. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blast Holloway! All right, give me the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so here we are, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong, and we've been omnipresent ever since. John, we kicked the door in. Yes. If you're going to open, if you're going to say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards in some of the biggest moments in UFC history. Now, if the Knicks could just get their act together. Knicks will never get their act uh -huh. together, and I'm okay with it. Oh! Oh, big elbow. Big punch lands over the top. 
How's he gonna follow this one up? And now he lands a combination! Oh! Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is the jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Holloway whiffs on the left there. Well, missed on that one. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Oh, and he connects there. His hand. Oh, huge right hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Three minutes. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Right hand upstairs. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. Man, it's almost like he's got a range. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to take like that finish on him a little bit. Back to the feet. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snapping back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Another shot lands upstairs. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. We'll see if he can finish. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Then another big kick for Max Holloway. Slips to avoid Holy the run. Smoke. Oh! Put him to sleep. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Back to his feet. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Nice punch. Here. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. What a performance. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Max Bliss Holloway. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on.